just one last exam question with some reflecting lines in planes. So we've got line L1 with this, plane with this equation, and then we've got line L2. We just want to find an equation with L2. What do you think I would do first of all with L1 and with the plane pi? Yeah, yeah I'm going to put them into the, I'm going to put them into the forms that we prefer to deal with. So what is the vector equation of this? R equals four. Two four minus six. I'm just going to keep this bit separate for a second. Four minus two one. Okay. The reason I keep them separate is just because it makes it super clear what's the point on the line, what's the point uh, that's the direction, and then for this one here, our equation is r dot one minus two one equals six. And then I'm probably going to want to do a sketch here to think about how we might go about doing this. So I would say this is my plane. How did I show a plane before? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, just a dash line, just to say, okay, this is the kind of thing that's the plane. And I've got that this line is going somewhere through it like this. I'm going to do this one in black and then we'll do the reflection after. So here's our L1. We might like to add a couple of things that we know about L1. First of all, we know that a point on it is 2, 4, minus 6. And we know that the, the direction of this line is 4, minus 2, 1. We also know that the direction towards the plane is, uh, is the normal, which is 1 minus 2, 1. And who remembers the strategy of how we go about doing this? Find two points on L2. Find two points on L2. So, so we can find one point by finding the, 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 the L1 and the plane intersect. Good. So one of the points is going to be here. And then, the and then the other point is going to be here, which is the reflection that goes through this line that we have like this. Which one do you want to find first? Intersection. Yeah, I think the intersection is going to be easier. So to find the intersection, we're going to take this and we're going to put it in here. So the intersection will be 2 plus 4 lambda, 4 minus 2 lambda, minus 6 plus lambda, dotted with 1 minus 2, 1 to equal 6. So that's 2 plus 4 lambda, minus 8 plus 4 lambda, minus 6 plus lambda equals 6. So that's 9 lambda is, is it 18? Yeah, so that's 12, yeah, is equal to 18. So luckily we get a nice easy number that lambda is 2. So the intersection point, if I just call this one, I can't remember what I've called it before. Oh, you called it x. Oops, I've gone, sure, yeah, because we did call it x before. Let's try and be consistent. Oh, crap, what have I done there? There we go, it's back, good. So x is subbing in 2 into this thing here. 10, 0, minus 4? Yes. Okay, great. And then the next thing we're going to do is the reflection of that line. So if we call this one, I don't know, L3, what's the equation of L3? Uh, yeah, the point that's on the first line. Plus mu, minus 2 mu plus mu, because we've obviously got the direction of that line there. And now we're going to want to find out where that intersects the plane. So we're going to do the same process that we just did here. So I'm going to do um, r dot 1, 2, 1 equals 6 so with these together. So it's 2 plus mu minus 8 plus 4 mu minus 6 plus mu equals 6. So that's 4, 5, 6 mu equals 12, 18. So mu is 3. This is a bit where we can save a little bit of time because we know that here mu is 0, here mu is 3, so here mu is 6. What did we call that point m before? I think we just gave it any. So if I call that m, I'm now going to say that when at m mu is equal to 6, so that means that m is equal to using this 8 minus 8, 0. Cool. So we're basically there now, aren't we? We just need to find out the direction, what mx is. So mx is x minus m, which is 10 take away 8, which is 2. 0 take away negative 8, which is 8. And minus 4 take away 0, which is minus 4. So we could say that the direction is simplifying that. 1, 4, minus 2. So the equation of the line, L2, is r equals a point that is on the line. So you could either use m or you could use x. I think the mark scheme used x, which was 10, 0, 4, uh, 10, 0, minus 4, sorry. And we're now going to have to use another variable because we've already used lambda and mu. And I'm going to use 1, 4, 
n minus 2 for that reflection. Did anybody get any other different versions of the? I've already used lambda. I've already used mu. So I decided to use t. But it would have been fine if you didn't do that either. OK? Uh, I've got minus 2, minus 8, 4 for direction. Yeah, that's absolutely fine as well. So the mark scheme here is like a skeleton mark scheme where it, it haven't, I haven't produced the bit on the bottom half just to try and make it easier. The bottom half will have like all the details that says accept this, accept this, accept this, and that kind of stuff. So if you ever generally, if you look at a mark scheme and you're like, I haven't got this at all, don't just think that you're wrong. Either like ask me, drop me an email or something, or like ask each other, because it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means you haven't done the one route of doing that particular question. And because I've tried to save space when I've done my exam documents and screenshots and stuff, I haven't put in like the full details that you get there. Okay. Okay. So